Hello everybody, how are y'all doing? Welcome to Fiora today. And today we have Spitfire, who is another streamer. Um, she streams with me on Thursday and, and Saturday with Armored Warfare. She's also my other half. And she has been bitching up my ass about this Stingray replay. Now I personally feel as though the Skank Ray, as it is affectionately called by so many people who hated the living fuck out of it, is not necessarily the best tank in the world. It's a big target. Its armor will not stop jack or shit. Um, it isn't the fastest to accelerate. It doesn't work the best on on non-roaded terrain, i.e. hard, soft ground. And it slows down quite easily. However, she has insisted that this is a good replay. Let's find out. If the swing, if the stingray, since the .14 and .15 light tank reevaluations, re is any good yet, or if it still deserves the title, Skank Ray pulls up here and starts looking out. And I do believe she sees a left. Ooh, wait, it penetrated. God damn. Knock the LAV up too. Merc of a 2B is going to smell some Terminator blood. And the expeditionary tank is just suicided into a uh, Terminator there. Oh, she sees a Challenger. Can this thing even hurt a Challenger? Oh, nope, nope. That's, that's just a complete other waste of shot. But that gun's reloading really quick now. Uh, I think she got spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got slapped by probably the LAV 600 if it did 600 fucking damage. Jesus. Tier sevens just seem to have their damage scaled up way too high. If you if you were to ask me. But uh, yeah, now she's got to work at a uh, at really close range. Oh, that did not work out. Ooh, if she'd hit the RDF, he'd be dead. That is a Challenger one. And even though she might have had a slight buff, I doubt she can take on any Challenger one right now. Nope, not gonna happen. Through the Commander's Capola like everybody else usually does. Oh, that is a complete another just poof. Poof shot. Her allies behind her are exploding. Are you aware of this? Well, at least you're doing something. Up oh, there's that LAV 600. That big ol' LAV 600 death stick. Oh, but she just killed a challenger. And is now hitting that Leper 2 AV who's just slapped her hard. Relocate, relocate, use light tank special ability, relocate the fuck elsewhere. And somebody is just hurling missiles. Is that, is that that M113 striker? I think it is that M113 striker just hurling missiles out there, holding those guys off heroically. She should really probably use a smoke grenade right about here to cover herself up so she can get out. That's just my opinion. It does have smoke grenades. Why not use them? However, this is a pretty freaking hair-raising situation. That VBL, though. That VBL, though. I don't know what the hell he's smoking. Ooh! Heat shell to the face! We all heard the reload as she changed off shells. Up, oh, Leopard 2AV coming right in. And he blows his load into the tracks. And now she uses the Merkava for cover against the other Leo 2. And they're working him. And here comes the other Leo 2. Up, he's going down. Oof. Lucky there. Lucky there. Otherwise, that would be probably a very dead Merkava. Oh, 
Oh, cheeky shot! Oh, he's coming straight over. He's stuck! He is officially stuck! Low! Painfully bad move by the Leopard 2 AV there! Paid for his sins! Something just exploded. I think it was that LAV 600 shooting something. Oh, he dead. He dead. Oh, smoke, smoke, smoke! Uh, oh, oh, that's that LAV 600 across the way. Putting out shells. Putting out shot. And a VBL wipes it out. That Bradley, though. That Bradley's a VBL killer. The fuck? You hit that, Jesus! Uh oh! Oh, lucky! Nice, nice kill. Lucky and miss. Nice kill. Oh, I'm in this match. I'm the goddamn Bradley back there. What am I smoking? I'm the fucking Bradley. I came over here to save her, but. Yeah, this is me back here in the Bradley. Back to Spitfire. Now, we have made the tactical decision. Yeah, surprise, guys. If you noticed it before, sweet. But yeah, I'm the one driving the Bradley. We've made the tactical decision to relocate the hell of fuck across the goddamn map. I'm driving right through there. There is no RDF there, I can assure you. I can 100% assure you there is not an RDF there as much as you want to make us think there is. Whoever the hell- fuck off dude. I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to catch up here to Sophie so I can spot. There's no tank there dumbass! I tell her very specifically avoid the cap circle. We don't want to let them know where we are. By the way, the jackass ping in the map is dead. He needs to stop that shit. Now, by killing the VBL, by the way, that was, since that was our priority target, that has removed any spotter they once had. They are effectively spotterless. And Sophie and I know it. I, however, am the spotter for our team. And if anyone, I'm going to rely on my, well, other half to you know, provide main gun support while I provide missiles and auto cannons and spotting. So we are actually rushing back here to base as our main battle tanks valiantly hold them off. And I'm having to cut across hell and high water to kill a Tarfin Mark II, putting us both up to three kills. And that's when Spitfire sees the XM1 and the other Stingray. But she is spotted right now. Now you notice she hasn't used any of her smoke grenades. And that I have a problem with. You're a light tank. Your first instinct when you're spotted a lot of the time should be smoke it up. A lot of people don't seem to have that smoke it up instinct. Now I'm moving forward still to try to get lights. To try to see these guys. While Sophie is just pumping out shells into the side of that challenger. Ooh that sweet sweet rear challenger booty. And you heard my missile go off. Let me go. This is the shot we're having to make, by the way. This freaking challenger way up here. Who doesn't have the reinforced armor package, which is why his side is easily penetrated. And Sophie ricochets. I get shot. Oh god, I've been shot. And now Spitfire is one on one with an XM1. Oh, can she make it around the corner? Nope! She's done for! I'm like, shit! Fuck! This just got, this went from bad to worse. Now this is the moment in the match that's gonna surprise every fucking one. I see the Stingray coming looking for me. I see the XM1. And all I can think to myself is I'm about to die. 
Stingray fires too low, breaks my tracks. And I make sure to kill him. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. A little bit of RNG's luck. Here comes the XM1 right after my booty. But he's a lot slower than I am. And I'm going to hug the fuck out of this rock. And just deny him the shot. Oh, look at that. Look at that sweet, sweet allied fire. I got a full minute to get back to cap. And now for the repositioning duel. I'm like, you know what? The Merkava has got to do the reset right now. I've got a duel with an XM1 to attend to. And he doesn't know where I've gone. Great job, by the way, Spitfire. Excellent job with the fire support. And God, I did not realize how much fucking effort you had to put out just to get the just to stay alive. Much less do the damage you did. I get positioned up here. He can't see me because I'm too far away for his blind main battle tank butt. So I get within spotting range. Which is going to be right about here. And I'm going to mark his ass. Come on. Come on. There, he's marked. And I just let loose with the missiles. One hit. Two hit. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. He died hard. I got most of the damage, though. So there you go. That is a uh, that is a match between me and my other half as a duo of death. Oh, we hear the alarm bells going off. Let's go take a look at them wonderful, wonderful, wonderful final stats that Spitfire managed to pull on this particular match, shall we? And here they are. So she racked up 5,006 damage, 7 spots, 5 assists, so 1 short of recon, 1 short of teamwork, um, and she didn't get the kills for the, for the ace tanker, she definitely did the most damage on the team. 17,000 XP and 328,000 credits, holy crap. You got it going on, girl! This was a match from her perspective. Which, if I do recall correctly, we might have already had the match from my perspective. Or maybe not. Nope, we have not had the match from my perspective yet. But that was the match from her perspective. I wanted to check it real quick. Let's go back in here. So, uh... Yeah. She netted 282,000 in her pocket. And as you can see, her damage is pretty spread out. She has about 1,900 from range, 2,700 from point blank. Most of it kind of split out between stationary moving and while concealed. Good job. Great fucking job, girl. And about a third of her damage? Actually, I'd say more about 40% is against higher tiered vehicles. So there you have it. She shot up the, she shot the chal a challenger twice. She shot another challenger a bunch of times on the commander's hatch. She managed to hit both VBLs, including killing one. She killed both LAV 600s, which were a tier higher than her. And she did a shit ton. Four shots apiece on the Leopard 2 AVs. Great job. Great freaking job. That is some damn fine work. Now, the other video today I am currently working on, I'm having to do a bunch of edits for it because YouTube somehow managed to screw it up, which is Ark Survival Horror, or Survival Evolved, for you guys, for this, uh, I was trying to get it out, and it just, it's not working, so I'm trying to fix it. In the meantime, hopefully you enjoy it. Here's the previous Armored Warfare video for you guys, and remember, everyone, we're trying to hit 100 likes! on the Armored Warfare videos today. Also, you can look forward to the BMD4 review coming up probably tomorrow. So the BMD4 review is the big reveal today. In the meantime, also when I wake up, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be a little too late, but when I wake up, your Dark Heresy characters will be due in. And anyone who hasn't submitted, I'm sorry, you cannot get in this week. You might be able to get in next week. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora, and I hope to see all of you next time. Bye-bye.